Hey, what's up? It's me. I got my Tabasco shirt on. I want to save you time in the gym. Hey, what's up everybody? It's David Beers. Um, today I'm in a very weird mood because I'm wearing my Tabasco shirt and because my dog decided to eat something he wasn't supposed to and wake us up at 1, 2, 3.30 and 4.30 for good. So. I'm a little slap happy, or whatever the word is. I can't think right now. But I do want to talk to you about how to save time in the gym. I've gotten a ton of questions this week from people, and I thought I would address a big question. And that is, David, why don't you just use a dumbbell? And I want to tell you why. But more importantly, I want to tell you how to shave a heck of a load of time off your workouts, because I know that is a big pressing issue for a lot of women out there. Because you're like, I'm not 20, and I don't have an hour and a half to go hang out in the gym and wear you know, Lululemon and check out my butt and post it on Instagram every hour. So, you, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a busy woman and you have, let's say, a job and or kids and or whatever, all the stuff you've got to do, you're probably looking for... I want to lose weight, I want to tone up, I want to feel stronger, I want to feel more confident, but I don't want to do it six days a week for an hour and a half at a time. And I don't want you to either, so I really want to help you figure that out. And, beep. I just gotta get rid of pop-ups. So let's talk to you about how to shave time off and why dumbbells and machines are not gonna do that for you. So, I'm gonna hop right in, I'm gonna show you. Here's the, the thing. You can do some things with dumbbells that I would have you do. Like, for instance, I'm not against curling. I'm not against overhead pressing or doing a tricep extension. Maybe not this one, but something where you extend the tricep. Those are all perfectly fine moves, but for the most part, except for the pressing one, you're dealing with one muscle group at a time. And this is sort of the old bodybuilding way of working out. It might make aesthetically pleasing changes to a body if you do it right, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of different exercises. To shave time, to cut your workouts down from an hour and a half to something like, let's say, 39 minutes, for instance, just to throw a random number out there, what we've got to do is get more muscle groups worked in the same, or, or in a hell of a lot less time, okay? So how do you do that? And then the answer being, why are kettlebells so effective when I say dumbbells aren't as effective or machines? Because when you do a kettlebell move, it is a dynamic movement. So a bicep curl, everything else in your body is pretty much doing nothing except for your bicep. Whereas if I take something like a kettlebell swing and I take this little lump of steel and I hike and I snap, I'm using my legs, the big muscles in my body, my core, my back, and my arms, right? So I just use three quarters of the muscles in my body, let's say. Not to mention I used all of the big muscles in my body, so what does that do? That means your heart goes boom, boom, boom real fast, and what did you just do at the same time? You just got stronger and burned more calories and more fat. Voila, you just killed two birds with one stone in a lot less time. So. That stupid simple way is how you take this and then 45 minutes on the, I call it the hamster wheel being the treadmill, and you smash it down into one little thing. I want you to think compound movements. I want you to think hit a lot of muscle groups at a time, right? So why not machines and dumbbells? Because they don't create the same change unless you do a lot of different exercises and throw in cardio on top of it. So. Like I said, you could curl them, you could press them, you could tricep, you could squat with them, but I can string, I can take a client and string together a bunch of different moves, hit so many muscle groups all at once, get a great athletic physique, and do it in a really small amount of time. So for instance, let's say you did presses, rows, squats, and deadlifts, and then you went and did your cardio afterwards, and that whole string took you an hour to do, right? And probably more, because you're probably doing a minimum of 30 minutes on the cardio machine. So how do you smash that into, let's say, a really crazy effective 12 minute set? 
Well, let me show you a little complex, okay? So instead of just taking one little muscle group one piece at a time, let's say you were to string together a couple of moves that work pretty much every little big muscle group you've got. So I go swing, squat, press, throw in a seesaw press for a little different motion, right? I could even do a step back lunge, step back lunge, I could bring it to the floor. I could do a push up on it. So I'm doing all these movements together. Now I just showed you kind of advanced stuff. Some of it I could teach you in like a day. Some of what I just did might take you a month or two. But the point being, we, <laughs> the point being is I got three hours of sleep and I gotta breathe, hold on. The point being, <clears throat> if you wanna smash time and do workouts really quickly and get an effective change to your body. You want to do something that strings together lots of muscle groups at a time and has strength and cardio all in one. So, when you do what I just did, your core, everybody wants a strong core. Do I want you to do abs and crunches? Yes, but will you get also a huge change by squatting with weights in the front of you, by kettlebell swinging, by doing one-sided stuff like I might have shown you before? Yes, absolutely. So that's how I want you to start thinking. I want you to get away from working on machines and dumbbells where you're working one little muscle group at a time, right? I'm working my delts, I'm working my triceps, I'm working my, I'm sorry, biceps, working my triceps, and start thinking in terms of I'm working my entire body in one fell swoop, okay? Um, so that's, that's what I wanted you to show, to, to show you today. And the other piece I wanna show you is, this is called a kettlebell not a kettlebell. This is called a, everybody always says, why is it called a kettlebell? It's not a bell. This is not a bell. This is a dumbbell. I don't know, it's like a weird thing. Kettlebell. It's a kettlebell. Anybody got any questions? I'm, I'm like leaving work after a long week of Friday, just vacuumed, tidied up the place, taken off for the weekend. A lot of people around here are going into a spring break. I'm not doing anything interesting other than working and maybe doing some fun stuff with my kids. But I just want to show you how to cut down your workout time big time, okay? I want you to get away from deconstructing your workouts into strength, upper body and lower body, core, cardio sets on, on an elliptical or a, or a machine, and start thinking in terms of smashing movements together that address your upper, <laughs> your hips, your core, your shoulders, and your cardio, and your fat burn, and all that good stuff into one fell swoop. So hopefully I demonstrate a little bit about why using something that is, uses dynamic movement and a lot of muscle groups is a lot better than something that just isolates a movement, okay? That's it for now. Have a great weekend, everybody. I will see you next time. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you have a favorite kettlebell move, why don't you tell us below what move you love the most, okay? Um, any of my clients who have experience with this, why don't you chime in and say, Here's my absolute favorite kettlebell move. And uh, extra credit if you post a, a quick video of it below. I just showed you my favorite, which is swing, clean, squat, press. Because like, it feels really awesome to string together four moves in one. And like, you do a few reps of that and you're like, bu -bu 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 -bu. your heart's going crazy and you're getting really crazy results by like a small little workout. So that's it for now. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Who's on here? Hi Sam. Hi Christine.